Unfortunately, this story does not have a happy ending. Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. Welcome back. And if you're new to our channel, you might not know that we live over 9,000 feet in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. For some people like us, we consider it to be heaven on earth. We've got beautiful mild summers, beautiful views and amazing wildlife that we get to see on a regular basis. However, sometimes the wildlife uh, can get a little bit scary. In fact, this happened to us just in the past week. In fact, I'm one of the first ones to admit we have had an amazing array of wildlife up here. I'm fortunate enough to catch it on camera many times. You'll see a lot of footage of moose. Sometimes I even get to catch a coyote or a bear, but we do get a lot of wildlife up here in the mountains and that's one of the beautiful things of living here. But sometimes you get a story that doesn't have a happy ending and that's the story. It all happened a couple of weeks ago when we were out of town and I noticed on the Facebook group for our local area, a picture of a dog that I recognized. When I read what it said, uh, it was a mountain lion attack. And I knew who the dog was because it was Vigo's best friend, our neighbor's dog, Marbles, who comes over all the time and plays with Vigo. And she's like our second dog because we see her so much. And you've probably seen her in a few of the videos if, been, if you've been watching our channel, but um, she had been extremely lucky she was in a mountain lion scuffle and another neighbor across the street i'm assuming the location um, witnessed it and ran outside and scared off the lion the lion probably dropped her and she escaped and survived the attack and this is about a 40 pound dog so that was really frightening i can't believe that that happened to our dog that's basically here all the time um, it happened at 6 p.m. and that's the frightening fact. That's the part that is unusual a little bit because normally when you hear about mountain lion attacks, they're like early morning hours or late evening, you know, after dark. Uh, that tends to be their behavior. But I would love to get input from you guys, um, what you know about mountain lion attacks. And unfortunately, that was not the only attack. Coming back from vacation, I talked to my other neighbor, which I'm gonna show you on the video here, how our homes are all, um, how close they are. I know we're way up in the mountains. It looks very rural when you look at the video here, but we have eight neighbors all around us within you know, a quarter square mile. So it's very tight at the end of the road here. And when I talked to one of our neighbors, she let me know that one of her dogs was killed from a mountain lion attack on a different day of the week as this other attack. So. She has smaller dogs and they're smaller chihuahuas. She said that it was mid-afternoon. The dogs were outside on the deck. They have a small fence. Um, the lion came through their backyard, grabbed one of the dogs and ran, ran off into the woods right next to their house. So it is a very traumatic um, situation for them. Um, we knew the dog as well, so it was very sad. Um, and the frightening part again is that it happened midday, 3 p.m. She was home, the radio was on, there was noise. Um, a bunch of other people live up here. We all live and work outside, and it's not like it's a silent, uh, secretive area for a cat to kind of walk through here and claim um, another animal. So questions what we have. Was it the same mountain lion? Um, is it, could it be multiples? What would cause a mountain lion to attack middle of the day? Um, why, why is it coming through a neighborhood with, you know, um, where people live? So a uh, lot of questions definitely makes us wonder, is it hanging around? You know, we're scared right now to let V go outside unattended because even though he's a hundred pound dog, um, Mountain lions aren't known to attack dogs of any size. So um, it's definitely got us thinking twice about our activity outside. Vigo's been extra barky. Wait for what are you barking at? And that maybe that's because we were out of town for a while and he's feeling extra protective, but he's outside barking all the time. You know, I feel really bad. Um, 
that we weren't here during the attacks because I feel like Vigo does bark a lot in general for our neighborhood. I think he does scare off a lot of wildlife. We haven't had any sightings of coyotes this year or foxes. So I'm wondering if the mountain lion took advantage of Vigo being gone and like went after the neighborhood dogs. Um, I also have another report that a third dog is missing. So there's a dog that we knew that lived across the street from us that would kind of make his rounds. Um, and there's a missing sign recently posted in the past week that this dog is also missing. So very frightening. Uh, like I said, it's um, one of those things where we're, you know, thinking twice about taking a walk in the woods. I have not, since I've heard the news about um, all of this, I have not taken Vigo out in the woods. Um, and I get nervous about all this tall grass. You know, I was mentioning that in the last video, we've got a lot of tall grass here because of all the rain. You know, what a great place for a mountain lion to hide. You know, right behind us, it's all national forest. So there's no homes built in hundreds of acres back there. But it definitely makes you think twice about feeling safe outside, for sure, for sure. The whole midday thing, you know, tacking in the middle of the day is just right next to a house where someone was inside and I don't know, it's just really, really wild. So uh, how does this change things for us? Well, I think, you know, we're just to be, going to be a lot more vigilant. We're not going to stop living, right? Uh, I'm not going to stop, you know, working outside, but just being vigilant of our surroundings. We're probably going to get a brush hog and make sure we cut the grass around the house pretty low uh, to kind of keep that visibility down or to improve that visibility. And then, but, you know, fortunately, the way our house sits, we're high up on the hill. We do have probably some of the best visibility as far as looking out beyond the retaining wall, looking out from um, being up on the deck and um, just looking out the entire neighborhood. We really, I can see a lot of activity out here, a lot of animal activity um, all year round, just from being on the deck or even just being up here on the retaining wall. So um, fortunately, that is in our favor, but... I think with mountain lion attacks, you never see it coming, right? You just learn about it after the fact. So guys, just was a little bit shook up. I felt like I had to share this with you guys. I know some of you wonder about our safety up here and people get curious about this type of thing. If you live in the mountains, what's it like living around the wild animals? Um, have, do you have more interactions with them? I've never had any interactions with a mountain lion. I've never seen one except for on a game cam. So. You know, we could set up a lot of game cams, although I've tried that before and, you know, once in a while we'll catch a moose. You know, I don't really get a lot of activity, um, but, you know, might be a good idea to get back to that. So, and then we will be getting back to our regular scheduled programming with the shed build. Um, and today Brian was working on fixing the culvert, which was plugged up from the last video. So I'll probably post some of the footage there of how he solved that problem to unclog a culvert uh, that got totally impacted with sand and rocks so guys would love to hear from you in the comments about um, mountain lion advice or mountain lion patterns anything that you think might be able to explain why um, dogs multiple dogs are getting attacked in our neighborhood um, we do know that one neighbor has chickens possibly could be attracted to chickens i'm not sure but um, maybe being dogs is enough to attract a mountain lion and just interesting um, that two dogs possibly three were attacked in one week's time so anyhow that's the news from the Colorado mountains guys <laughs> I hope to uh, bring some better news next time but we'll see you and um, we'll be looking out from our homestead all right take care bye what are you barking at?